If you read the title, which you probably did, today I'm gonna be talking about an effects pack. And uh, usually I don't talk about these kind of things because, well, I'm not really that interested. There are like five overlays I've been using for the last five years and I'm still happy with them and uh, I keep using it. You've probably seen that VHS effect. Uh, which you can see right here on the screen. I've been using it for years now. This company called Cinepunch reached out to me and they said like, uh, hey, do you wanna try out our product? At first I was like kind of skeptical because um, I don't know, there's just so many of these packs nowadays out there that I just stopped believing them pretty much. I decided to give it a go, right? Oh man, <laughs> that's one big ass pack. <laughs> wow, um, okay, so when I first downloaded the pack, it seemed like it didn't have that many elements in it, right? It only was five gigabytes and uh, I was like, hey, pretty cool, why not, you know? Too many elements sometimes is a bad thing, right? Then I opened all of the folders and um, this is what I got. Having 4K overlays is actually pretty cool because I never thought I would have so many possibilities with them. Like if I don't like some elements in the overlays, I can just uh, scale up and move it around in the frame. Like it's pretty cool. I like that. I could get used to it. I love it. There are just so many elements. I didn't even know where to begin. And I downloaded less than half of those elements. It's like here in the background, you can see some of the elements I found in less than five minutes, basically. But I don't know. Some of them just feel way too cinematic. Feels like I want to make the most dramatic movie ever. <laughs> it's like, it has so many elements, I even had to write down all the different elements it has, like, jeez. Okay, so the pack itself includes more than 10,000 elements. Yeah, you heard it right, 10,000 elements and more. It has so many things. It has anamorphic lens flares, creams, dust overlays, foggy atmospheres, a bunch of light flares, bokeh flares, different textures, ink drops, spills, light wipes, transitions, lots, sound effects, distortion effects, glitch effects, VHS effects, effects, film grain, what the f It had so many effects, I was so confused and I was like, man, I gotta test these things out, so... And that's why when I woke up this morning, the first thing I did, I turned on the computer and pretty much spent uh, six hours testing different overlays and effects. So I'm just gonna be talking about my experience using all these different effects and whether they're a, a good purchase or not. Uh, grab some popcorn, grab some snacks and enjoy! First things first, let's make it clear. Uh, in a lot of these Facebook and Instagram ads, when you see people um, advertising these packs, they're using uh, all these overlays on high-end cinematic footage, which is basically just meant for these kind of overlays, right? I just wanted to use my footage, which I've shot in the last two weeks, and just try out using these overlays on normal footage, I guess, to see whether it looks good or not. So that's why you're gonna be seeing the same type of footage over and over again. It's because I just wanted to see if these overlays work on casual footage as well, not only like high-end cinematic footage, right? So okay, about my experience. Let's start talking about uh, the things I was the most excited about. I, when I saw these millions of overlays in that pack, I was immediately hooked. Overlays is something I use a lot in my work, right? I'm not a big LUT or transition kind of a guy and when it comes to distortion effects I try to keep them minimal, but when it comes to overlays I love them. It's because with overlays you can come up, you can come up with so many great things. You can use overlays as transitions, as effects, as colors. It's like there are endless possibilities to what you can do with overlays. That's why I love them so much and this pack I gotta admit, the overlays are freaking amazing. Like, you you saw a couple of examples here, right? My favorite are definitely the film burns, the different kind of flickers, film burns, and uh, just lens flares they offer. It doesn't look cheap, and I like that not only they have um, overlays which are moving really fast, but they have really slow moving light flares as well, which I really, really love because not always my footage is dynamic, right? Sometimes I'm doing static shots as well and that helps with that. So when it comes to overlays, I'm very, very happy with their selection and uh, 
The footage you're seeing in the background right now, these are my favorite ones, which I've found out so far. Basically, all of their elements are in 4K, so this means I can resize them, I can move them a little bit, you know, I don't have to worry about losing the resolution, basically, which I'm extremely happy about. They, I even saw they had 8K elements, what? What? That, okay, I, I'm not even gonna try to import that on my computer because it's just gonna... When it comes to transitions and LUTs, just like I mentioned previously, I'm not a big fan of using transitions and LUTs that much, right? But I can tell you that some of the transitions they have are really good. They're not those cheesy distortion zoomed in transitions with RGB edges and everything, you know? Oh, man, I freaking hate those. They do have some really, really good transitions which are so simple and so nice and super easy to use and uh, yeah. Uh, by the way, speaking about easy to use, installing all this was a breeze as well. Basically, a lot of the times it just takes less than one minute to install it. And with the rest of the overlays, you just download the pack and they will provide you with um, video files, which is super convenient. This was the biggest surprise for me. LUTs. Now, I don't use LUTs, okay? I have my own LUTs, which I use, yeah, but I don't really use LUTs, I don't know, I, I prefer color grading my footage from scratch because, I mean, that's how you practice. But uh, I did try using some of their LUTs and here's one simple example which made me say, that's actually good. There's nothing more I hate than when you slap on a LUT onto your footage, it just turns completely Shrek-like colors, okay? The skin tones are terrible, everything is just crushed, the blacks are crushed, the highlights are gone, everything is bad, right? What I like about most of these LUTs is that they're super subtle. LUTs are just so good, they're so subtle. It's like I color gray, I color correct my footage and then I slap on a LUT and it just gives this minimalistic pop to it, you know? And it's so good because if you want to make it pop more, you just increase the intensity or just increase the contrast a little bit. They give you such a good starting point, right? You just want to keep color grading. A lot of the times when you will import a lot, it's just gonna like completely ruin your footage and then you have to lower down the intensity and then you're just not gonna understand anything. These lots are really good. I, I really like them. Now let's talk about the things I like about this pack. Just like I mentioned before, the overlays are just fantastic. I love the overlays. I love filming dancing. And here on the screen, I'll just put you some videos I've made in the last month. It's one of those things where I can just release my creativity, you know? And uh, I have also begun shooting music videos and then I have a feeling these overlays will help out a lot when it comes to these effects because you probably already know that artists love these crazy glitch effects, these overlays and lens flares and everything, you know? So I have a feeling this is gonna help me create new different effects and atmospheres and I'm super excited about that. I am definitely gonna be using this for my work. Let's talk about the things I don't like. I am definitely not a fan of how big the files are. Uh, in, in total, I think you have to download more than 100 gigabytes of footage, which is a little bit too much for me. I don't want a 100 gigabyte pack sitting on my computer, so that's why I just chose a couple of elements and uh, downloaded them, and now it's only taking like 20 gigabytes. But still, uh, I if they could somehow compress the files a little bit more, uh, by at least a half, I think that would help out a lot. And another thing I don't like is the fact that s some um, elements are me MOV files and uh, for me as a person who doesn't have the best computer, it's kind of laggy, but uh, yeah, that's pretty much it. All right, the ultimate question, who is this pack for? I would say if you shoot a lot of music videos, dance videos, or I don't know, you're doing something artistic, I have a feeling this pack would help you out a lot. It has so many different funky effects and uh, also if you're a motion graphics designer it has like a lot of cool ink drops and stuff like that and uh, they look really good, they look so cinematic honestly. So yeah, if you're shooting music videos or something like that and you need a pack where you can get all these little funky effects, this pack is perfect for you. You just invest those 49 bucks and I have a feeling you will not have to buy another overlay pack ever again. If you're a casual vlogger or you film corporate stuff, I don't think this pack is gonna be needed for you really. I already mentioned the price, it's 49 bucks, so I mean, listen, six years ago when I started doing animation, here you can see some of the videos, uh, you know, instead of just talking, I just wanna show you guys that I actually used to do animation. 
And to get these kind of elements, it was very difficult and often you had to pay 25 bucks to just get like three or four or five, I don't know, flying blobs basically, or particle trails, whatever. So for 49 bucks, you, you're just, this is just incredible. As I was scrolling through the pack, I also noticed that they included a couple of sound effects. A couple of sound effects, actually a lot of sound effects. And while scrubbing through them, I suddenly got the motivation to make something interesting. Let's make a dramatic wedding trailer. Let's do it. Once upon a time, in a land far ahead, there was a boy and a girl. They were very happy. But what they didn't know, was that their lives would be changed forever by Sinner Punch. That was epic. Actually, another thing, if you check the description, there's gonna be a link where you can try out a couple of free elements Sinner Punch is um, giving you guys. This means, I mean, maybe you're not sure if you wanna spend these 50 bucks, right? So you can just download these couple of elements, play around with them, and if you like them, purchase the full pack. And also, you have probably heard about Envato, right? Envato Elements, where they have all these crazy motion graphics elements and overlays and whatnot. And if you sign up uh, their subscription, which is like 16, $16.5 a month, you have access to the whole store, basically. You can download whatever you want, whenever you want. And you can basically spend your whole month just downloading presets until your computer is completely full and you get confused and you don't know what to do anymore. I've done that so many times. It's a great feeling, actually. Hopefully, you're gonna check out the pack. I would highly advise you to at least download the free, the freebies they are giving you guys so you can play around with them, but this pack truly deserves a fat like. So if you could like this video and just check out at least some of their elements, that would be greatly appreciated. And uh, yeah, guys, I can't wait to see what you're gonna come up with. And you know the drill. Peace out.